Hi crafters, this is Amy. Um, I am going to show how I put together those large rosettes. Um, I do use the hot glue gun, so I just plug that in. I am going to make another rosette for a Thanksgiving theme. So I'm going to take a piece out of this uh, die cuts with a view uh, harvest gathering stack. Um, and I believe I decided um, I think I'm going to go with this one. Oh, actually I used that one for that autumn one. Let me do the leaves. <clears throat> okay, I use my Martha Stewart scoreboard. And, uh, well, the first thing I do is because this paper has this edge over here, sometimes these papers are not exactly 12 inches. So, um, I cut it just to make sure. And then I don't have that little perforated edge there. Uh, so we'll need that cutter again. <clears throat> so the first thing I do for the larger, here this is the rosette. For this larger rosette I have half inch folds. And to make it a little easier to fold and deal with here, um, I do like to use cardstock. You can use paper. Um, I tend to tear through the paper um, as I score. <clears throat> so I, I use the um, cardstock. This cardstock also has like some foil on it, so that is going to make it a little more difficult you know, to get your folds, but um, it'll work. It'll just be a little more work. So the first thing I do is I will score it on one side at the inch marks, and then I'll flip it over and score it at the half inch marks, and that makes it folding easier. I also leave it as a full sheet of paper um, before I cut it. What I'll do is I will cut um, three, four inch strips, and that's what I put together to make um, the rosette. And <clears throat> but then I only have to work with one piece of paper. So I will score it, I will fold it, and then I will cut it. Now folding it does make it a little more challenging to cut, but it's it's fine. So the first thing I will do is score it. And I think because I do have this foil paper, I'm going to do it twice just so I can... Get a nice fold line here. Um, the bone folder here. this piece here. I probably will use this to crease somewhat. Um, so here's like a vamp. This side I will fold this way and then this side I will fold this way. Okay, <clears throat> that actually folded pretty nice. Now I will cut it, and we need to make sure, uh, see the folds are this way? Uh, we need to be sure we cut it this way, because of course if we cut it that way, it is not going to accordion in the proper direction. Oh, 
Okay, now what I do is I give it a good, you know, fold it up <clears throat> and give it a good crease. And here I'll show you this first one here. When you first fold it, it's kind of crooked like that. And what I do is I just force it to be straight. You know what I mean? So it's a nice fold that way. And uh, there. Okay, so I'm going to do that with the other two pieces and then I'll show you how I tape them together. Okay, um, at this point, uh, if you're working with uh, paper that has a direction like this uh, music paper, I wanted to make sure that the musical staff was connected. Um, you'd need to kind of <clears throat> set your papers the right way, but this is really, um, oh, these ended up weird sizes. I cut them crooked. Okay. Um, I don't really have to worry about direction here. Now, I just use my ATG gun tape, um, and then I reinforce it on the back with a scotch tape. And I really haven't had any trouble with it. Um, these have been together for a while. Oh, I haven't even put the tape on these yet. Um, this is probably the front. Yeah. And so I'll reinforce I'll just take a piece of scotch tape and uh, put that on the back there just to keep together. And I haven't had any trouble with it falling apart. Okay, so I put Okay, I put the tape on that side, <clears throat> and then I get that together as tight as I can in the crease here. And uh, there you go. Oh, so that didn't go quite right. And I do try to get them to overlap all in the same direction. It probably really wouldn't matter. Um, wow, I really messed up cutting these. Look at that. This piece. I, uh, I suppose I didn't take as much time as I normally would. And this piece, oh yeah, this piece really got messed up, so we'll just cut it off a little bit. I'm assuming in the finished product <clears throat> we won't see that. Oops. I did even that, um, line it up on this one side, and that I will make the outside um, of the rosette, of this inside here. Um, you could just trim this, you know, to kind of even that out. Um, but I'll just make that the inside. And then we'll continue. I'm going to put the tape over here. I'm going to connect the circle here. So I'm making my circle. Okay. So now what I use, I do use my hot glue gun to glue it together. And 
<clears throat> I have these circles that I I cut these out for something else. They got cut out. And what I do is um, I just take a piece of tape here and I tape that circle down and then I decide I guess it doesn't matter and I kind of just do a dry run there of how I'm going to glue this down so that looks good I can all my edges are even yep that's a really good way to do it so this will be the center so then I take hot glue and I put it on there. I do take my oh, I don't know where that one is. Alright, we'll use this uh, that to deal with the heat. Okay, so that's hot glue, so I do have a moment to uh, center it on here. And uh, let me take the, oh that isn't too bad. Okay. So I just uh, hold it on there until that glue sets. So that'll just take a minute. And I make sure it's flat and you know that it's even. And you've got a little bit of time to deal with it. Press it to the middle here. Sometimes if that's really hot, I have those hot glue fingers, or I'll take this and hold it if there's more glue on there, if that seeps through the metal. Also on this next step, because I'll take another circle here, and uh, glue that on this side. So I just uh, cover that piece with hot glue that on the center and that's where I use this or you have these fingers um, I don't know where the big one is this one fits my pinky so but I highly recommend using something um, those silicone baking sheets I think you can even get those at the dollar store now um, you could cut those up you know, to use as a hot pad. Okay, so that's kind of warm yet, but I'll let that set for just a minute. And then to um, pull it off here so that I don't pull it apart because that isn't like tacky tape that I use. Um, I just take my spatula from my Cricut and I just kind of go underneath there and there you go. Get under that circle underneath and pull that so there you go. There's the rosette. And uh, it's nice and flat. I'll continue to let that cool. And this was where I would then put the pieces of scotch tape. So here, just on the insides of those. See, I can't even find the seams. Oh, there's one. Alright, so there you go, ready to decorate. Thanks for watching, have a great day.